Posikunene. She was crowned last night at the 58th annual Miss SA pageant held in Carnival City in Johannesburg. A radiant Ntando Yankosi Kunene receiving her crown at a glittering ceremony held at the Big Top Arena at Carnival City in Johannesburg. An excited and overwhelmed Kunene, a 23-year-old education honor student from Mpumalanga, is determined to make a difference during her reign. Being crowned Miss South Africa has been an absolute dream of mine. Growing up as a little girl, I've always dreamed about this moment and it brings so much tears to my eyes, knowing that I'm here and that I've actually achieved my goals. Kunene has won cash, a car and products valued at more than 2 million rand. Free State's Elizabeth Molapo was chosen as first princess and Taylor Sky Robinson from Gauteng, who took second princess, was also named winner of the World Swimsuit South Africa competition. This year's judges were Basitsana Kumalo, although she did not attend the final due to an injury, Sophie Ndaba, Kojo Bafo, Penina Fenster and Casper Bosman. From a simple perspective, imagine you can walk into any space and people know who you are. For a lot of us, you know, whether we're in business, doesn't matter what industry you are, a lot of times what we want is just a foot in the door. Because there's so many pageants around, there's everybody saying miss this, miss that, and that's okay, you know, because I think if it's going to boost young ladies' confidence, why not? However, this is a prestigious event, and it remains a prestigious event, and I don't see it changing. I think it's just perception. Perception is sometimes cruel because uh, you have different people thinking different things, assuming different things, and deciding for the rest of us. I still believe it's relevant. I know it's going to continue to be relevant. Why? Because it adds value, it changes lives, it, it, it grooms and true ambassadors that continue from year in. Many previous Miss South Africa winners were in attendance and also acted as mentors to this year's top 12. We got a chance to talk to Miss South Africa 2011 and how the competition has changed her life. I think it's always worth um, being able to give something your all, to really train hard, to prepare yourself. Um, and I don't think that preparation is necessarily only for tonight. It's uh, preparing yourself for a whole year and a whole year's schedule that is so intense uh, to be a really great Miss South Africa, to know what you're talking about, to know what you want to have from your year and to be able to cope with the pace. During Miss Essay's reign, Kunene will represent South Africa at both the Miss World and Miss Universe pageants. Nadia Adams, SABC News, Carnival City.